happy February. Today is February 1st and I just got home from the gym. By the way, my Christmas tree is still up. I meant to take it down last weekend, but I didn't get around to it. Anyway, today is the first day of February. I'm not doing anything exciting today or this week. It's mainly just a work week, a regular old five day work week for me. But I thought I would vlog because I got some mail. I actually have been vlogging over the past couple of weeks, but man, it is just not good enough to piecemeal into a vlog. And I took so much random footage, but it just doesn't all cohesively go together. I'm trying to think of some highlights that happened over the past couple of weeks. Um, oh, one really exciting thing is my wedding dress is finished. It's complete. I do want to show you guys little bits about the dress because I absolutely love it. It is just my personal style. It's everything I envisioned. It is custom made and it's just everything I wanted it to be. So I wanted to show you guys the detailing of the lace. I Instagrammed a photo of this earlier today, um, but I just am obsessed with this lace. My mom coordinated really the making of this dress and I'm so happy with the lace. And as you can see, I have the dress on Judy right now, um, but I also want to show you guys the beautiful back detail. So it is see-through and um, again there's the beautiful lace and the custom buttons with the same fabric of the lining wrapped around the buttons I'm trying to think what else happened um, I broke one of my favorite blushes something devastating just happened I dropped this on the floor and it broke <sighs> I'm so sad. <laughs> I dropped it on the floor and it was just no saving it. This does not count against my blush ban for 2016 because this is a repurchase of the one that I broke. So this is the Hourglass Ambient Blush in Mood Exposure. Here's just a closer look at it. So there is definitely a lot more of the ambient powder showing, but I'm sure it will still translate beautifully on the cheeks. I did end up replacing that one fairly quickly within a couple of days. Um, I I was fine with just using it broken because you know I would just be extra careful with it but I actually ended up dropping it again and this time the lid wasn't fully closed and it just got everywhere so there's no salvaging it so I ended up getting a new one those are really the only highlights that I can think of off the top of my head right now but I wanted to show you guys what came in the mail today so I placed two orders recently actually probably more than that I know for sure more than that, but the other items are from Amazon and who knows when those will arrive. So I'll show you guys my Zara order first. I got this cardigan and uh, it's a very strange material for a cardigan. Normally cardigans of this style are cotton or cashmere. This is definitely not either of those. I feel like it's nylon, maybe viscose. Um, it has just a very like slinky feel to it. But this was only as part of the sale and it was um, $15.99 or something. So the other two things I'm going to show you, one is actually not for me and this is what sparked the whole Zara order in the first place. But these are boots. So one is for my mom and one is for me. So she wanted to order these boots but um, on Zara.com you have to have a minimum of $50 in order to get free shipping. Or you can send it to the store but I mean why not just get it delivered to your home, right? So I um, ended up picking up the same pair of boots and then this to get the free shipping and uh, yeah. So I don't know, I haven't tried these boots yet but they looked interesting and they were dirt cheap. I think they were $24 or something. Um, these are the boots here. So they are just like a, a leopard booty and this is actually real leather if I am not mistaken. Yeah, it is. I'm gonna try it on and see if I like it. It's a very low heel, kind of like a kitten heel. So I got one for myself um, and then the other one is my mom's. For my ASOS order, um, I only got one. I only wanted one thing, but I had to get the other thing so I could get free shipping. <laughs> so this is the item that I picked up, kind of just to get the free shipping. It's just a camisole. Um, I just like it. You can never really go wrong. What I don't really know for sure is the whole um, sizing because it is in um, UK sizes, and I just don't 
know where I fit. So I got the 10 only because this is the only size left. Um, I probably could have gone with an 8. Um, 8 is probably my regular size um, in UK sizes, but this looks like it'll fit. Plus, like I said, it's a camisole, so even if it's a bit loose, um, that's cool. But this is the item that I really placed the order for because it was on sale. Okay, it doesn't even say the price on here. But this is the item here. It's a bra. So it is the strapless bra from Wonder Bra. It's actually called the Ultimate Strapless. And um, yeah, I don't know. I heard really good reviews about this bra. And uh, I just happened to be on ASOS looking for a, what was I looking for? It wasn't even, I wasn't even looking to purchase this. I think I was looking at a dress or something. Um, but uh, I saw this and I picked it up. So pretty excited for that. I just got home from work and it was such a beautiful day today. It was so warm. I was walking outside and I didn't even need to wear a jacket. It was so nice, but now it's starting to get a bit chilly. Um, but the Bo and I are gonna go for a Wednesday. <laughs> so we're gonna go for dinner right now because um, I haven't been home early this week because I've been going to the gym after work, so. now Thursday. Dinner last night was good. The food was um, good. The service was awful though for our dessert. I think we waited 20-25 minutes and all I ordered was a brownie so that was uh, unacceptable um, and uh, service really makes a difference. I mean food could be great but if service is subpar it really doesn't make you want to repeat the experience but anyway um, today is Thursday, like I said. Bo and I just came from, well, I came from a swim, the Bo went to the gym, and he did, I think he did a cycling class this morning. And now I am going to get ready for work. I just got home from the gym, and I also had a very successful dentist trip, no cavities. On another note, I'm really excited because my IKEA order came in. So I placed an IKEA order online um, because I only needed a couple of things, essentially two more shelves for my Algot system in my beauty room closet. Uh, but I didn't want to make a dedicated trip to Ikea and it wasn't even guaranteed that they would have what I was looking for because one time Bo went to check for me and it said that they had 52 in stock of the item and there was none. So I thought I would just order it online. You do have to pay for shipping. I think for my entire order, which was only $30, um, my shipping cost was around $14 but it shipped via FedEx and it shipped fairly quickly, so I guess I don't mind paying the $14 considering it was much less of a hassle than having to go all the way down to Ikea and wait in line and also risk not even getting the product that I wanted. Um, so this is the first time I ordered from Ikea and it was pretty successful. Obviously they don't um, ship everything online. There are some things that they do and you actually have to pay their flat rate delivery system for and there are other things, smaller items, that you can just pay a parcel fee for. So it just depends on what you're looking for. So my Ikea order came in two packages. So one houses the Algot shelves and then there was another dedicated box for this cute lantern. This is what I have done with those two shelves so they are just above my little desk here. Uh, they're not 100% set up right now. I'm not really sure about the placement of the Muji drawers yet but uh, I'm pretty happy with how it looks. Um, I just I want to make this area kind of like my makeup area and then the rest of my room more of an office. As for where those drawers used to live, they used to live on this shelf here, so now I just kind of have a hodgepodge of things. I'll probably sort it on the weekend. Good morning and happy Saturday. It is about 9.20 right now. I have to go pick up the bow from the dealership because he dropped his car off to get it checked. Um, but before I do that, I have to back up my phone because I dropped it and totally shattered the screen. So I'm actually surprised it hasn't happened sooner because I've dropped my phone so many times and I guess this time was just the last one. The structural integrity of it is just shot. So here's how she looks. As you can see, pretty bad. Luckily I have a screen protector on it so I 
no likelihood, I guess, of getting cuts from the broken glass. And yeah, so it still works, totally functional, which is good. I just uh, definitely gonna have to get this replaced. I rarely back up my phone. Um, I usually do it once, maybe every quarter, and usually just for photos. Uh, but I figured I would back up my phone since I'll have to take my, my phone in to get it fixed and uh, I don't want to lose any data. Hello, we're home now. I have an appointment at the Apple store with the Genius Bar to get my screen replaced this afternoon at 3. They said it would only take about two hours, but it's going to cost me, I think they said $169, $170 plus tax. So quite a pretty penny, but um, I'm catching up on shows right now. So I'm starting with Pretty Little Liars and then working my way down the list of shows that I missed. I'm just going to have those shows playing in the background while I take down our Christmas tree. Just dropped my phone off at the Apple store and they said it'll take about two hours for it to get fixed so we're just walking around. Okay we are leaving the mall now and apparently what? Apple couldn't fix my old screen. Apparently it was just too far gone that they couldn't just replace the screen so they ended up giving me a brand new phone. And you guys you should have seen my old phone. It was beat to hell like it had pieces of the plastic antenna missing um, but they just gave me a brand new one. home now and I gotta say that our living room looks really sad without the Christmas tree here. I need to figure out something to place here because it's just kind of a big empty space now. Anyway, I am going to first of all take off the plastic on my phone because it is like I said a brand new phone and it still has the plastic coverings on it and then I am going to plug this into my laptop to back it up or I guess to put my backup on it, so to restore my phone to what it used to be. laundry tub from Home Depot. So I'll show you guys the old one or the current one that we have right now so you guys remember how hideous it is. So this is what it currently looks like. I'm doing laundry so excuse that noise. And uh, as you can see, this is almost a year's worth of reno's. <laughs> That's the damage we did to it. So we're gonna replace this um, with the one that we just picked up from Home Depot. This is what the new laundry tub looks like. So this is a flexible faucet and uh, it's quite deep actually so it's really nice if you're rinsing something out. And then it has some cabinet space at the bottom and it is a soft closed door. So yeah, it looks really nice. A lot better than what used to be here. I am going to end the vlog here. I'm gonna try to upload it for Sunday morning. Who knows how well that will work out. My phone has been restored and it has for the most part is back to exactly the way I had it before. That is the wonderful thing about backing up your phone. There is one thing um, my iBooks are missing so I'll probably have to resync it. And then all of the other things that I download like Next Issue, magazines, and also Spotify music that I created offline. But uh, for the most part it is exactly the way I last left it, so I'm pretty excited and I can't believe I still got a new phone. I can't believe that I broke my screen so bad that I had to get a new phone, but um, I'm happy I didn't have to shell out an arm and a leg. It only cost me $169. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this vlog and I will see you in my next video. Bye!